What's up, guys? So, um, a couple months ago, I got myself a Ishin QX uh, 65. Now, this sucker is nice and fun. Uh, it is brushed motors. Uh, does a little bit of the tiny whoop style flying that I really like. But, you know, I have kind of outgrown it, and I see all these cool, uh, cool little tiny whoop style drones that are out there that are now brushless and well I really want some. I'm gonna take this and upgrade it and make it a brushless micro drone just like the UR65 slash snapper 6 style drone. Should be fun right? Okay, so I had a, a bit of a problem <clears throat> when I was testing out the flight, uh, the new flight controller. Uh, I plugged it in and stuff like that, um, and it wasn't working. Uh, I was very, very confused. So um, what I noticed was uh, when I put my Tranus into uh, D, uh, the D8 mode and, and bind it, it would actually bind up. And everything looked fine, like it would stop blink. Um, what the hell? Okay. So when you put this into bind mode, uh, the LEDs stop flashing. They become just one solid light. And then whenever you go and pair it uh, with your Tyrannus, then it starts blinking again. That's that's how you know it's paired. So I did that, and then I set everything up in beta flight, tested uh, tested the motors out in beta flight, and I could turn them on and stuff like that. Uh, and I had it set for D-Shot uh, D 600, but when I plugged it in and tried to actually fly it with, you know, with my Tranus, nothing would happen. And it, it confused me for a very, very, very long time, actually. Um, and then I found out that it has to do with D-Shot. The D-Shot was, was causing issues, and when I put it into Multi-Shot, it actually kind of fly, but not really. Um, so what I had to do was I had to flash it, uh, flash the beta flight to 3.4. Uh, this one you'll use the Crazy B um, F3, and on the bottom of my board it says F3 uh, F. F3 F something. Uh, F3 FR. So it'd be Crazy B F3 FR. So. For this, that's what you'd use. You wouldn't use an omnibus. Uh, most people probably know that, but I didn't. So I had to kind of guess and hope I didn't brick it or anything like that. Um, then I had issues trying to be able to flash it because on the bottom there's this, there's a button for the boot. So you hold down the button, then you plug it in. Well, that wasn't working. So I had to, it wasn't recognizing the port. So I had to use Immersion RC uh, driver fixer, which is always wonderful. So you just have it plugged in and then you let it run and then it does its magic and then all of a sudden I was able just to flash it and I tested it out and it works so I have finished upgrading my uh, 
my Yixing QX65 with some uh, 0603 19,000 kV motors. Uh, I had to use brushless motors and uh, I wasn't really thinking. So when I got the brushless motors, I had to get a new flight controller. That's where the Crazy B F3 uh, flight controller came in, which supports D-Shot, which is wonderful. So it means I had turtle mode again, which is wonderful. So out of everything, this is what's left over out of my uh, out of my QX65, which some people might say, you know, I kind of cheated, so I basically just built another one, but no. So I, I'm still using the case, I'm still using the camera with the VTX, because why not? It still works out real well. And the, the frame that I'm using is from uh, Beta FPV. It's the Beta FPV, it's the Beta 65 is what I'm using. Um, now, it didn't actually fit quite right, like the holes on the bottom right there. Let's see if I can zoom in. Those right there, like right in that center. Um, they were not actually quite big enough because on the bottom of the motors, you have like a little uh, C-clip and it spins. So I actually used my uh, soldering iron and melted it to make it a little bigger for it to fit. So it actually works. All right. so. I've got her all situated up. Now let's get a rubber band. These didn't come with uh, with nifty, uh, what are they called? Battery spots. So this on the bottom right here, at least on the version I have, this is actually for a receiver. So it's not actually for the battery. You got these little clips where you can put a rubber band. I grabbed one of my wife's hair tight thingies, whatever. Some that she used for her hair. I'll use that. And it kind of works. I mean, it'll, it'll snug it up enough. Oh. That's always a good sign. Uh, well, let's turn on my Tyrannus right now. And I'm just going to, I know you can't really see it right now, throttle boarding. So. As you can see, it is working and that hurts. And I suck uh, at flying already, again. <laughs> I'll be good. But yeah, uh, so I'll try to leave uh, links in the description below where you can buy this stuff so you can make your own uh, UR65. I guess technically it's more of a, it's a hybrid between a UR65 and a Snapper 6. Because the Snapper 6, from what I understand, uses the the 0, 0, 0603-19,000 the 0, 6, 0, uh, 19, kV motors, while the um, UR65 only uses the 17,000 kV motors, uh, or maybe it's 15,000 kV motors. From So I may be wrong, but I think that's what it is. So I, I wanted the more power, and... I don't know, it looks pretty good. Uh, so all together, let's see, I had 50 in with with uh, my my Q, my, what was that? Oh, because I'm not flying it. Oh, that's cool, it has a beep. I did not know that. Anyways, so, uh, so all together, I had I got 50 for the Ishin QX65, uh, and then I got two two of these frames for it's like eight bucks for both, and then I went for the 1900 KV. That was like 30 or so, um, and then and then the flight board, which was like 30 also. Um, all together, I you know I. Probably spent more than if you just went out and bought a, a QX65 or a Snapper 6, but at the time, first off, I didn't know about these, and I only had 50 bucks at a time, so it is possible to upgrade. Um, put on this little uh, canopy. It was, a, it was a little hard. You had to kind of press down and 
smudge up the the little gummy placeholder thing for the for the flight controller but it works so all right thanks for watching guys